This last chapter, we want to answer five common questions about multi-camera EFP production. Why do we need tally lights? Why do we need an intercom system? Why do we need to white balance? Why do we need cross shooting? And why do we need backup recording for each camera? These are common questions that people ask when learning how to work with multiple camera EFP production. We always encounter the same issues during production. So here's why. Why do we need a tally light? When you are recording, the red light on top of the camera turns on. The purpose is to inform the talent and the cameraman that this is the live camera. The cameraman operating the live camera stays with the shot and the rest of the camera crew can adjust theirs. So why do we need an intercom system? During multi-camera EFP production, you can see the camera crew are wearing headsets. This is the way the director can communicate with the camera crew. The distance between the director and the camera crew can go up to 100 meters, so normal conversation is impossible. The director needs to tell the camera crew which shots they need to take, so communication is important. So why do we need to white balance? Let's take a look at a camera. Environmental light comes from different sources. When shooting outside, the main light source is usually the sun. The sun has a yellowish color, which is totally different than tungsten or fluorescent light. Because of this color temperature difference, you need to set the cameras to the same white balance. Be aware that this is slightly different from regular white balance adjusting. Normally, you would keep a white piece of paper in front of the lens and adjust it, but now you need to use the light on the stage. Zoom the camera in all the way into the stage and focus on a white paper or spot. So what is cross shooting? When you do a multiple camera production, we use the term cross shooting. This means that the left camera registers the right person on the stage and vice versa. We do this so that we can register the person's face instead of the side of his head. Also with cross shooting, the viewer will get the effect that the speaker is talking in his direction. If the director switches between camera shots, the viewer will experience a conversation, which feels very natural. So why do we need backup recording for each camera? Sometimes it may look like your equipment is never going to fill on you. If you buy proper equipment, this will hardly ever happen. But when things can go wrong, they will always go wrong at the least desirable moment. Imagine doing a production on a wedding. Suddenly, your recorder goes bust with all the recordings of the day. This is a nightmare. Not only for the wedding couple, but also for you and your reputation. Always make sure that you have a backup recording available. So, to conclude, Multiple camera EFP production may look complicated and hard, but if you prepare well and practice, it will become second nature. We hope this video series has given you a useful intro to EFP production. Bye!